Hey everyone, my name is Courtney Alma and today I get to share with you Dixie Darlin Needleworks uh, tour of their shop in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I got the incredible opportunity this past week to meet Small Town Needleworks and we got to shop together. So here's a video of Dixie Darlin.
I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of Dixie Darling. So now I'm gonna share with you my haul that I got. So they had a little bin, uh, like some chronic that um, was for a dollar and I got silver and gold because I'm stitching a Kringles pattern that has a clock on it that has the detail of it. And I couldn't remember if it was silver or gold. So I grabbed both of those just to see and I'm sure there'll be patterns uh, throughout the years that I can use that as well on it for a little detail. And they had some free charts and I got the Tennessee Titans. You know, I know I'm in Tennessee and my husband's a big Tennessee Titans fan. And I got these, these were in a little bin just for finishing. They were only a dollar, which was awesome. Little birds. While I was in there, um, I was shopping for Christmas, so I can't show you guys that, but I did get a couple Christmas gifts and I was kidding up a pattern that I have that I'll show with my Christmas stitching, but I got DMC 727, um, 610 and 3831. I also snagged 18 count Ada and Almond. So they had a sale right now. Um, we went Tuesday, which was the first day of the sale and you got 25% off unless it was already marked down. It had like an orange sticker, I believe on it. If it was already marked down, you wouldn't get that extra off, but everything else was 25% off. So this was 25% off as well. And, um, I loved it because I didn't have that kind of color, the almond. I'm sure I'll find something very beautiful to go on that. So I have steamed broccoli and I'll show you guys in a minute a whip that I had that I needed steamed broccoli and I couldn't find it to save my life. I ended up substituting that pattern, um, the DMC of steamed broccoli, but I thought I lost my mind. I just it, it was in my son's chair and I didn't even notice it until we went to have dinner and I guess he had put it in his little chair or maybe it fell um but I'd grab steam broccoli classic color works <laughs> and I just grabbed that for some of my stitching with a housewife patterns and things like that because she always uses steam broccoli <laughs> um I got bayberry by Jenna Arts um, Black Crow by Jenna Arts, Mistletoe by Jenna Arts, and Banker's Gray by Jenna Arts. I had grabbed this button as well. Was, I don't think there was an additional off on this one. This one was $1.80, $1.80, but I loved it. I don't know if you guys can tell. Here, let me try to take it out and see if you can see it better. It's just like a little flag heart button and I thought this would be so cute on some of my patriotic stitching so I snagged it um I also have some free they had the little postcards that um let me see open road oh open road abode needleworks so there was like some stitch cards that had, it was a freebie. I'd snag some of those. Also, they had a little bin that had like 50 cent buttons and I'd got a black bear cause you know I'm in the, the Smoky Mountains. And I grabbed more, but they are part of, they're part of the gift. So I can't show those, but I did grab more. And, uh, of course, if you guys know, I'm stitching Prairie Schoolers. So, I snagged 2013's Santa by Prairie Schooler. This is going to be my next one I stitch. So, I'll start it soon. And I'm excited. I love the detailing of the cuckoo clock and the compass. Wait, am I backwards? Yeah, I'm backwards. The compass. So, I'm excited to stitch that one. And then my last thing I got was, oh, no, I have a big piece too to show. But I had got this piece. It's already pre-stitched. They had a lot of things that people had already model stitched for them that you could buy. And this was on sale for $5. And I couldn't pass it up. It has the little Think Snow charm on it. I'm not quite sure what pattern this is. So if you guys know, 
definitely comment below and let me know what pattern and what designer this is. Um, but I thought it was just beautiful and I can't wait to figure out how I'm going to display it for winter, for my winter stitching. And it's got the bead detailing on it. It is beautiful and it has some of the silver um, floss as well throughout. So I couldn't pass that one up and I got it. So my last piece is this big piece that I got. It was actually, <laughs> if you've watched Small Town Needleworks, you follow them, you can see their haul that they had as well from Dixie Darling. And they explain <laughs> this piece, but this was like a, kind of like a trifle piece. You can fold it either way. And I freaked out when I saw it because it was only $10 and it's heavy. It's good, it's good wood. and. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to finish something on it. I don't need all three. I just need one because it's just me. And so I decided to give the other two to them so they could finish something on it. So Jade and the handy tool in the parking lot was taking this apart. <laughs> it was so funny. I'm so grateful for that though because that was fun. We got to split this piece and she took the hook off of it, which they sent that with me because I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to, how to use it. But when I got home, I was searching and searching, trying to find what piece I wanted. I found the perfect piece. And I'm just going to wait and show you guys when I finish it. Because you guys haven't seen any of my Christmas finishing, I realized. I stopped filming last year right after Halloween. So I get to share next week all of my Thanksgiving finishes with you guys. And all my Christmas, my Christmas whips, my Christmas finishes. And I have the most Christmas. So... I, I can't wait for that. Um, but I found a Christmas piece that's going to finish. And then I'm going to finish on this. And I'm actually going to paint this white. So I can. And I'm going to use magnets. So I can kind of interchange it throughout the, throughout the seasons. But I'm excited for that. To be able to have that finished. And it had a hook already on it. So I can hook it on the wall. I mean it was, it was perfect. I could not pass that up. I, I freaked out when I saw it. <laughs> okay. So that was my haul. And when I got to meet up with um, Small Town Needleworks, they had me a little goodie bag and it was so sweet. They had no idea that they, they gave me a hand towel and a hand towel holder. They had no idea that I've been wanting to get one of these from them. And I've been trying to find, figure out how to get to one of their craft shows because I know they sell these at their craft show. And they gave me one as a gift and I was so excited because it's so me. And Christmas and I can't I can't wait to have this hanging up so I got that as a little gift and they gave me more coasters they know I love their coasters um, I showed in my previous video of my fall coasters by them so these are awesome and these I can use all year round and um, I've also am looking forward to getting some Christmas ones from them I even gotten some like pioneer woman kind of style that I can use throughout the year as well. Any season um, from them. And I love them. Love them so much. And I like that they're the cloth because before I had um, wood coasters and stuff. And I have a four year old. It's not the best to have around. <laughs> so I love using those. And then they gifted me. This matches my fall coasters that I've gotten. They gifted me a little soup bowl holder. So I'm so excited for these cold, cozy days. Hopefully they're coming soon. Right now it's it's okay. So that was my gift from them. And I appreciated it so, so much. I just enjoyed spending the day with them. We had the most fun. It was like I was hanging out with my family. So it was, it was an absolute blast. And after we left Dixie Darling, we ate at the old meal. As you see... In the last pictures, Jade actually got some of the bird feed and was feeding the pigeons and stuff down there. And I stayed clear away, but those were the pictures that I did get. And it was hilarious, but definitely check out their video because they have, Miss Kim was up close with her and it got a really good picture and video of it. Um, our next stop, we shopped at the little gift shop there. And then we went to... Bass Pro Shop to the Jerky Outlet and then the Chocolate Monkey before we headed back home. And oh, it was so good. The Chocolate Monkey, we got little like truffles and stuff like that. And it was so delicious and such a sweet treat. 
So that was fun. So I'm gonna jump into the video now of showing you my few finishes that I have and a couple whips before we end. Oh, this is one of the finishes that I had this past weekend was Halloween in a Small Town by Small Town Needleworks. And of course I'll have them link below cause you've got to check out their Etsy shop, um, their patterns and check out their floss tube. They are an incredible mother daughter duo and absolutely hilarious. I love watching them every single week. So definitely check them out. This was a finish that I had for Halloween and I stitched this out on, I stitched this on 28 count smoky gray and loved every stitch of it. It was so fun to stitch and I wanted to share that. I also have a whip, talking about Small Town Needleworks, I'll lead into a whip that I have from them. I'm working on the Christmas one. Now I'm stitching this on a bigger count than the 28 count. I'm stitching this on 25 count vintage um, heritage by Lori Holt. And I'm gonna finish this actually on a wreath. So I wanted it a little bit bigger than my 28 count and I'm enjoying it as well to stitch. Okay, my next uh, finish that I had was Irish Santa by the French Giraffe. And I just stitched this on 28 count even weave. And I'm actually going to finish this in a frame. This is a gift for someone. They don't watch my false tea videos. At least I don't think they do. But um, this is gonna be a gift for someone. So I'll show you guys once I frame it. Still haven't found the right frame that I want, but um, I keep, I'm keeping an eye out to try and find the perfect one. But this is my finish, the Irish Santa. Very beautiful. I love stitching that one as well. Okay, I showed you my whip of Christmas. And then another finish that I had was um, Santa's Sweet, and it's the Tear Cherry Tidbit by Stitching with the Housewife. This is on 28 count white Monaco. And use all call for colors except for the blue. I uh, substitute that one for really tilly by Classic Color Works. And so this is Santa Sweet. And I'm thinking about finishing it and having it displayed. Um, I'm wanting to finish them all, but if I don't, I'm wanting to have it displayed by like my hot cocoa bar. I think that'd be really cute. So there's that one. I started working on Mary Claus. This is the Tear Tree Tidbit by Stitching with the Housewives. And this is as well on 28 count, 28 count white Monaco. And um, like I said, I used Really Tilly by Classic Color Works instead of what was called for on there for the blue. And then my last whip to show is the Santa's Tree Farm. This is the roundabout by Stitching with the Housewives. And this is also on 28 count Monaco. And that's how far I've gotten so far. And then this is the one that called for the steamed broccoli and I substituted it for the DMC and then later found the steamed broccoli. <laughs> but this is, this is my whip that called for that. All right, that's all of my whips. Um, my stitchy plans this week is to finish Christmas in a Small Town. Um, I do get my work piece soon, so I will be working on that as well. I need to tell you guys, Little Robin's Designs will have a new Christmas release soon, so definitely go check out Little Robin Designs. I will link all of it below as well. Um, but check out her Instagram and I'll keep up to date so you can see what that release is soon. So that will be fun. Um, I'm gonna finish this Christmas in a small town. I'm gonna work on one of these, probably if not both of these of the Stitching with the Housewives I haven't finished. And then next video I will show all of my Thanksgiving. I'm excited about that to be able to show you guys Thanksgiving and then start going into Christmas on oh, my Christmas finishing. Oh, I'm so excited. Even if I don't get it finished this year, I'm going to show you guys, like FFO. I'm going to show you guys my finishes because I had the best time stitching last year and I'm so sad I didn't film it to be able to show you, but now I am. So you'll be able to see that. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, our trip to Dixie Darling. Uh, thank you again to Small Town Needleworks. It was so fun meeting you guys and being able to spend time together and shopping at Dixie Darling and all the things and meeting Miss Sweet Gina. Thank you again for being such a sweet subscriber of ours. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and happy stitching.